Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with an FGO video reaction. I'll be reacting to two videos today. Again, uh, these are like new stuff that is coming out from the ordeal call to um, like the thing, the main story. And uh, two more videos today. Uh, the first one is called The King of Cavern, Count of Monte Cristo, Avenger, NPC Demonstration. And the other one is Alessandro the Cagliostro, Pretender, NPC Demonstration. Now, obviously, I like, you know, when I was like reacting to everything, I kind of got like, you know, immediately spoiled about because obviously, like, you know, this is FGO. You, you cannot really do anything about the servant's identity. It, you will get spoiled about it, especially if you're doing YouTube. So I got spoiled about it. So I'm like, yeah, let's just do it. You know, like, l let me just react to these two. Um, so there's no point in keeping like, you know, like, because I, I just, you know, I, I know about these two characters. I immediately, you know, when I was reacting to the TVCM, I didn't realize who they were. But then I saw like some videos pop up on my feed and the name was literally there. And I'm like, oh, so these are these characters. Okay, I understand. So I'm just going to be doing reacting to the uh, NPC demonstration as well. However, I don't know anything about the story or whatever's going on there. And uh, I doubt I'll get spoiled about that. And I'd like to keep it that way because, you know, I'm looking forward <laughs> to two years later playing this completely blind. Um, but yeah, and I'm pretty sure these characters will get re like, you know, re released as servant, I think literally the next week. So yeah, it's not even a spoiler, I guess, in, in that sense. So <laughs> like, yeah. So anyways, uh, let us begin then. So the first character is King of Cavern, Count of Monte Cristo, Avenger, NPC Demonstration. I'm saying character, but I'm pretty sure this is Edmond Dantes. Uh, Count of Monte Cristo. So it's I'm guessing this is either like a variant version of him, like a new class, or a new uh, spirit on dress. Either of that. So I don't know what exactly they will do with this. I'm pretty sure. I, I think they'll probably like introduce a new uh, a new spirit on dress. That's probably what they're going to do. Uh, I don't think they'll be introduce a new introducing a new variant of Monte Cristo. But you know what? Who knows? Let's see. Let's look at that NPG demonstration and let's see. So, um, and as always, all the uh, videos re I'll be reacting to here in this video will be provided in the description box, the links to them. And uh, yeah, so let us begin. Um, so here we go, Count of Monte Cristo Avenger NPC demonstration. Begin. Oh damn, he has a holy opening sequence. Uh, yep, there you go, that's him. That's Dantes. All right. Fatal bath. Whoa. What are those hands? Oh, he looks so cool. Just look at him. Oh my god. Oh! Hey, yo. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a spirit on dress. Hopefully. Yeah. Even though I don't have her. Have him. You know. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Wow, he actually looks just so, so cool. And I feel like if this is actually released as a spirit on dress, this will be one of the like most like unique spirit on dresses. Like just look at it. Like so it's just Oh my god, that <laughs> Wow, okay, each and every animation is just so good. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we still haven't seen the noble phantasm. Um Oh, okay, that was again another really good animation. You still Mm. Okay. 
Okay. All right, the Noble Phantasm time. I think. Come on. I do wonder if they changed the Noble Phantasm as well. Like, you know, some visual changes maybe. Let's see. All right, here we go. I do remember his Noble Phantasm. I don't really use him that much, but I do remember it. Kind of. So let's see. Oh! Whoa! Oh yeah, this is new. Yeah, this is completely new. Because, uh, yeah, in his Noble Phantasm, it's completely different. This is something different. Okay, so... Wow, that's like a... That's a whole change. Like, they change ev like almost everything about him. Okay, that's it. Right, so, like I said, this if this becomes a spirit on dress, I'm pretty sure it will. Like, you know, like, I, I feel like I've seen, like, at least most of the characters that have, like, NPC demonstrations, eventually they do get, like, you know, like, a, a, it does happen. Uh, except um, Olga Mari, I guess. Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, he, 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 everything has changed. Like, his whole, like, appearance has changed. I'm pretty sure his uh, animations have all... Now, I cannot say much about the animations. Like I said, I don't really use him. I don't remember his animations much. But this is obviously, like, this is completely different. The animation set is, I think, completely different. And I do remember the Noble Phantasm. I think the Noble Phantasm is literally him kind of, like, making, like, multiple clones and attacking the enemy. You know, that, I think that's his Noble Phantasm, isn't it? However, here it's so different. Um, it's just him transforming into this, I don't know what that is, but, you know, and then, yeah, this is completely different, and, wow, this, if this becomes a spirit on dress, it'll be huge, because I feel like this is literally a completely new character, I feel like, you know, like, Edmund Dantes and, and this guy, even though they're the same, and they have the same, like, you know, like, attack and everything, it, this seems like a completely new servant, I think, so, if this becomes a spirit on dress, it's gonna be huge. So yeah, hopefully, and you know, like I'm, I'm just thinking about. I know I have one uh, of my uh, one friend, uh, you know, who like an FGO friend, who I got to know from the internet, and that person loves Edmond Dantes, uh, or you know, like Dantes, like you know, he, he like that person loves uh, Dantes, and <laughs> like you know, I, I remember that like he has like maxed out like Dantes and everything, like NP five and everything, like crazy. And that person will be so happy if this becomes, like, reality. I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyways, um, yeah, that was um, King of the Cavern, Count of Monte Cristo, Avenger, and PC demonstration. So let's wish for this. Even though I don't have him, like I said, you know, like, I, 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 would, I would wish for, you know, like, this to become a reality. Because there's a lot of people who loves Dante so much. And uh, yeah, and this like really is like like I said, this looks like a completely new servant, like with completely new like you know animation set and everything. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, all right. So that was uh, this my reaction to this. Now the next one is Alessandro Di Caliostro. Now I do recognize his name, but I'm not really sure who he is. I will check out who he is later after uh, complete reacting to this video. Like, you know, like, I kind of go to the Wikipedia, I'll probably check who this person is or who this person is supposed to be. I'm guessing he's some kind of a, like a vampire or something. I don't know. You know what? Let's watch it. And then I'll, I'll try to check on, on the internet who, who he exactly is. All right. Um, so let's start. Al uh, Alessandro Di Caliostro. Pretender. NPC demonstration. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Oh, okay. Heteroeconomic eyes. Nice little beard. Okay, looks cool. Whoa. Was he hypnotizing? No. Oh my God. Oh, this reminds me of um, what's his name? Asha Doma Senpi, kind of, you know. Wait, who's that? Whoa. Wait, he became Avenger to Pretender? That's interesting. 
So I guess in a way that is pretending he was pretending to be a different class, like he was pretending to be Avenger. Whoa! Hey, he looks good. Even his card as well. Damn, what are these enemies? It's like a lightning bird. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, he's definitely going to be coming next next week, I think. <laughs> okay, let's see Noble Phantasm. Oh my god. Hey, his sword is clean. What? Look at that. What are those special effects? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just a little bow. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Oh, the enemy is also got. <laughs> Look at that enemy. Hey. Wow, the enemies have leveled up as well. Like, visually and, like, you know, like. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, these animations are crazy. They went all out with him. <laughs> <laughs> the way he says that. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> he <laughs> he fist fights. He uses his sword. He uses like magic beams and stuff. Oh God. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. And he has his guts on though. I can see like a... In the skills, like a... Trigger on guts thing. Oh, it increases the NP, okay. So when you die, it triggers the NP. Gods. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Once again. <laughs> the fingers are just... Okay, wow. Yeah, his is really good. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like he's gonna die now. Oh, that's it. Damn, that's unfortunate. I feel like you're, you're supposed to lose in this? Yeah, no, maybe not. Okay, there you go. That was it. Wow. That that was interesting. Um, yeah, he like I said, they went all out with him. <laughs> the uh, noble phantasm, like everything, just you know, and and he uses his sword, he fist fights, and every and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, he's definitely coming next week. Like, uh, no doubt about it. We, we've seen this before in Ordeal Call One. They introduced Durga in as an NPC at first, and then literally the next week she became a servant. So yeah, and, and, like definitely, like hundred percent sure she, he's coming out next week. Um, but and I don't know if we're getting the um, like I said, the spirit on dress for then Dante's as well, or maybe that's just going to be like a like a thing, but people won't get it. Who knows? But hopefully, like you know, that becomes an actual spirit on dress. Um, yeah, and looks really good. You know, we kind of saw like a little bit of his demonstration in his noble phantasm. I'll wait for next week to make uh, when he's going to be released to make his servant analysis video and then I'll like look deeper into him and all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure there's another character who will be coming, that girl, 
who we saw. I don't know who that is. You know, um, she has a very cool design. I like I said, I well, as soon as uh, what do you call uh, the first trailer that came out. As soon as I saw her, I was like, oh, wow, she has an interesting design. I will probably try to get her when she's released, you know. And I feel like if she's released, she'll probably be the first priority for me in this particular year, like two years later, 24, 2026. If she's released or when she's released, she'll probably be my first priority, unless and until something even crazier than her comes out, you know. So, yeah, either way, um, there you go. That was... Alessandro Di Cagliostro. Um, yeah, next week, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll, he'll be released. Let's wait for that. Okay, like I said, I'm going to check who he is. Okay, uh, Alessandro, Alessandro Cali. Okay, I do recognize the name Cagliostro um, because, like, okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's written here that Count Cagliostro redirects here for the fictional character. See the castle of Cagliostro. Uh, oh no, this is Rupan. Like I said, I, I have heard the name Cagliostro before, but it's uh, like, you know, from Rupan, the castle of Cagliostro, um, the Miyazaki film. Um, and obviously Rupan is there, all, all, you know, I, I reacted to that as well. But that's only where I remember, like, recognize the name from. Other than that, okay, you know what, I'm just going to read this. Like, let me know if I'm reading the correct page or if this is someone completely different. Um, Giuseppe Balsomo. Joseph Balsomo. Known by alias Count Cal... Oh, here we go. Count Ale Alessandro di Cagliostro. Was an Italian occultist. Okay. Cagliostro was an Italian adventurer and a self-styled magician. He became a glamorous figure associated with the royal courts of Europe where he pursued various occult arts including psychic healing alchemy and scrying his reputation lingered for many decades of, after his death he continued uh, but continued to deteriorate as he came to be regarded as a charlatan and imposter this view fortified by the savage attack of thomas carlyle in 1833 who pronounced him the quack of quacks later works such as the wp wr no wph trowbridge in his Cagliostro, the splendor and misery of a master of magic, attempted a rehabilitation. Okay, so he, he was like an actual person. He's not like a fictional. Okay. Right, so he's like, he, he does like occult, like, you know, like stuff. And okay. Anything else? Okay, wait a minute. All right, okay, let me read this. Uh, Alexander County Cagliostro um, was a charlatan magician and adventurer who enjoyed enormous success in Parisian high society in the years preceding the French Revolution. Balsamo was the son of the poor parents and grew up in an urchin in the streets of Pal Palermo. Escaping from Sicily after a series of minor crimes, he traveled through Greece, Egypt, Persia, Arabi uh, Arabia, and Rhodes and apparently studied alchemy. He eventually assumed the title of Count, and in 1768, he married the Roman beauty Lorenza Feliciani, called Serafina. Cagliostro went on to travel to all the major European cities, selling elixirs of youth and love powders, and posing as an alchemist, soothsayer, medium, and miraculous healer. His seances had become the rage of fashionable society in Paris by 1785. Cagliostro's career of deceit eventually brought him to the serious conflict with the law because of his friendship with the Cardinal de Rohan. He was implicated in the scandal known as the Affair of the Diamond Necklace and consequently spent nine months in Bastille prison and then was banished from France. In 1789, he was arrested in Rome and his wife had denounced him to the Inquisition as a heretic magician, conjurer and Freemason. Wow. He was tried and sentenced to death, uh, but his sentence le was later commuted to life imprisonment in the fortress of San Leo in the Apenninus, where he died. Okay, there you go. That is Count Cagliostro. So I am guessing this is that person. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I hope. So. I think so. Right. And yeah, there you go. That is him. Um, I thought maybe I would. I thought like he was like some kind of vampire. <laughs> I don't know. That name. I, I threw me off. I guess. Uh, but yeah, he and he kind of looks like a vampire, like you know, honestly, to, like to, uh, to be honest, like he looks like you know, like those noble vampires, that kind of 
So I, I made that mistake. Yeah, his, his sister probably, the, like, you know, like a, a person who was like, who dabbled with occult, just that type of character. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Like, I don't know, like, I, f I feel like I heard that, like some, I don't know where I, like, I got that idea from, but I heard that, like, like some kind of vampires will be coming, like, you know, like, like a vampiric, like, character will be introduced later, something like that, and that's why I just assumed that he's a vampire looking at it. But no, he's, he's just, you know, like, yeah, yeah, okay, so I now know. Um, so there you go, that was it. So that is it, guys, that was my reaction to these two videos. And uh, yeah, next week, I'm pretty sure he will be releasing. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's wait and see. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. There you go. That is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys, um, like in the next video of FG. It'll probably be next week because of the new characters that will be released. So yeah, see you guys then. Uh, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.